All right, Amanda, you know what time it is. What time is it? It's prom time, man. We're going back to that Monster Prom. Heck yeah, we are. Yep. Some DLC came out for Monster Prom. There are other newer games. They can all go jump <laughs> in a fucking fire because it's time for Monster Prom second term We're here. We're going to prom. That's right. A rage selected. I'm Jeff. I'm Amanda. Uh, so if I'm not mistaken, this second term of Monster Prom adds in two new people what you can be romantic with. Okay. Uh, one is, is a fish? Do you see a fish going up in the top left? Do you see that? Uh, right next to the quit button? The fish? The yellow fish? Oh, yeah. Yep. What the hell? There's actually been a Why bunch. Is, look at there. Is the gun not there anywhere else, though? There's it's, just a fish. Sometimes the fish is there, sometimes not. So you can see the computer guy. That's one of the new characters. <gasps> is there's a computer man. I'm going to have sex with the computer. And then... <laughs> Well, that's <laughs> not hard. That's not typical. <laughs> and then there's like a Cthulhu hair lady. So anyway, let's jump in. Uh, the thing, I, of course, I love about, oh, yeah, we could both play yeah. about Monster Prom. Second turn, Classic bro. DLC. Cooler. Sure, short game. Shirt game. Shirt game. Games with shirts. Share a controller. Uh, Spooky high school. Sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. I was totally afraid in high school. I, I was 100% afraid of high school. <laughs> sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life for the to the fullest. I like to, to, to make this about my high school experience, which was like, never reckless, never brilliant, always stupid, never willing to live life to the fullest. Yeah. We, we, uh, but you go, uh, you go. Uh, yep. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. We're doing that thing where you're like at a door. And you're, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, 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 no, no, you go. No, 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 All right. <laughs> uh, player one. I who am I going to be? I don't remember who we were last time. I, I think, well, we did two rounds, didn't we? Oh, I think, yeah. And I think I played this with somebody else as well no, at some point. You what? I know. I'm such a monster. Uh, what, is, what is his or her name? Uh, I will be <laughs> this. I will be Brian the uh, monster. Mash. I'll be they, Brian, the monster. There you uh, go. Who do I want to be? I think I was Brian the last time we played this. No, I think it was Fire Hair Girl. I'm going to be Fire Hair Girl, but she's not going to be. Let's do that. And she's going to be a she. All right. So, we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge the monster prom. The monster prom. It was a prom. It was straight up a prom. Oh, shit. This is different. Uh, see, there's the Cthulhu lady. Oh, yeah, she's so cute. Two weeks were left, and as we fantasized about a dream prom dates, we're all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our eight most charismatic classmates. Oh, they're, they're showing them all this time. Scott Howe. 21. Ow. Why is he 21? He's Where stupid. <laughs> a werewolf athlete who comes in for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Look at his tail wag. Wow, he's got a stupidly huge heart. Oh, my God. His heart is fucking enormous, you guys. If you put your hand up, you can see how big. You know. Miranda <laughs> Vanderbilt. Sweet mermaid princess who is as cute as she was genocidal. You know what? I was just watching this, oh, about this thing about um, the price is right. And now it's all I can think of is like. Come on down, <laughs> Miranda. <laughs> Polygeist. Party ghost with insatiable He's 22? hunger for all Why the wrong Why is everyone like, not a teenager in this game? It's Monster Prom, man. Rules don't matter. I think that the vampire dude is like a million. Damien Levey, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Hot fire. All right. Liam DeLancourt. He's 4,400 4, and... XDX. Four XDX. Dex. Four. Mega, Mega Man. Four regular porno. Uh, <laughs> a hipster vampire who stand off his demeanor hid the fact that he was a truly a lovable dork. Your ears are stupid. Yeah. Zoe. For ever? For, uh, forever. Oh, she's so little. Oh, yeah. An eldritch cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. <laughs> Same. Yep. Uh, Calculester oh, Hewlett Packard. Oh my God! <laughs> a library computer who'd become a sentient robot, ready to experience life to its fullest. Oh Look, man! Look at his little heart with his fingers. Fingers. I fucking hats. love this game so I much. <laughs> and Vera Oberlin, who I think I believe you got with on the yeah last time. We got married. Mean self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Had to be one of them, but who? We only had two weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had two weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. So I already said we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Hit the start button. Hi, uh, I think you're the cutest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so wait, who's going after who? 
Uh, um, we got we got to go after the new ones, right? Right. Yeah. Do you want to go after which one? Do you want to go after? You you could pick. I oh mean, fuck. Do you want the calculus calculister or I think or I want to go Cthulhu for Cthulhu lady. Uh, I think I want the computer. You want the computer? Yeah, I'm gonna go for the computer. All right, then I'll I'll go for the Cthulhu. So I actually figured out how this game worked at one point. Yeah. But I don't know. You knew all the cheat codes? No, I just like how to actually woo somebody, like the way that your stats progress, um, and like you have to have a certain stat in order to successfully ask somebody out. But they don't tell you which stats you need in order to do that. So it's yeah. always just kind of like a... I was trying to get Polly, <laughs> but like, oh, is that Sailor Moon with the gun? Harry Potter, uh, <laughs> little zigzag, and Dragon uh, Balls in her hair. Yep. And a gun. I don't know. <laughs> okay, a uh, radioactive possum just bit you. What superpower do you get? Incredible power of writing fan fiction. So compelling. Well, I got to go with that. Yeah. Actual creators of TV shows decide to go with my ideas and crazy ships. Bucky and Cap for life. The superpower of always choosing the right combination of emojis to get the desired reaction from people seducing my loved ones, burning my enemies, settling any argument, and even conveying complex emotional thoughts. Uh, rabies, maybe. I mean, that's the most... Probably rabies. I got super rabies. <laughs> All right, fan fiction! What did you get? I'm going to do... <laughs> I'm strictly answering in the hopes of getting the robot. Okay. Superpower of always choosing the right combination of emojis. To, yes. Okay. So charming. So charming. <laughs> Which oh is the coolest God, mythological? What the fuck. <laughs> I love the I love the hip hop sphinx. Yeah. He's the best. <laughs> uh, the weird creature I drew when I was six, and which is clearly super derivative from other mythological creatures, but it's super cool, and it's my OC and my spirit animal. It's one of those Sonic OCs that oh, are like... Geez. A fursona. <laughs> yeah, a sphinx who's super turned up and ready to yeah. party. She wraps all the riddles and she still kills you if you don't answer them correctly, but she wraps the riddles. The visible hand of the free market. I know, got it going for it. Oh, man, I don't know. I mean... What do you think the robot would go for? I think the free market is for... What's her face? The Gorgon. Yeah, I don't want This her. might not actually have anything to do... This might be the other six. Have yeah. fun! So it's like... Yeah. Yeah. You find your zodiac sign to be inaccurate. Design your own personal zodiac sign. The ambiguous iguana. The cute <laughs> pup. The now canon lovers. Yeah. Rich bitch. Rich bitch. The regal one percent <laughs> and the happy go lucky ecstasy pill. If it says canon, that's probably fanfic. Fanfic probably means the Cthulhu lady. Do you see one that makes you think? I'm gonna go cute pup. All right. I mean, who? Oh, no, he uh, wasn't uh, on there. So okay. What's the title of your autobiography? Temporality, the ongoing journey to define my inner enigma. How to succeed at everything and look fabulous trying. The top ten drunk texts that I don't regret sending. <laughs> That's <laughs> that, there are zero. There are none that I don't <laughs> that I do not regret. My parents think I'm cute, and so should you. The art of punching life in its dumb fucking face. <laughs> Manual of instructions: how to properly experience life. Uh, I'm gonna. T I don't see any of these that seem like fan fiction, so I'm going to go with the art of punching life in its dumb fucking face. All right, I'm I'm temporality, the ongoing journey to define my inner enigma, or manual of instructions, how to properly experience life. I bet manual of instructions. I bet temporality is. Yeah! yeah. Okay, good. All right. It turns out that the two week, like the short games, uh -huh. are actually way harder because sure. you just don't get as many yeah, chances as to much, build yeah. stuff up. All right, I got smarts. I got bold. Oh, wait, are they asking the question? Oh, I just get to go first in the first round. Yeah. I'm, man, smarty pants, creative pants, creativity pants. Uh, I'm going to go. Cool pants, you know? We should wear a lot of pants. I'm going to go with the. Uh, um, -dip -dip. Where's the. Auditorium. There we go. <laughs> er, that day er. while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses have themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. That's why I'm going, er. Uh, give me a figurative blowjob. Er, this figurative blowjob sucks. How about a jolly mouther? What about a regular blowjob? <laughs> <I got you. laughs> what about a real one? What about a literal blowjob? You're giving me figurative blue balls. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Remember for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards, it's Pete's Dragon. Er. I hear that there was a guy who came in and asked the crowd to give him a figurative blowjob <laughs> once. <laughs> Oh, see, the, now there have been a bunch of updates where we've gotten different. I don't know if this is different, but like there was one around Christmas time that had all, all these individual like like little Christmas things that you Aww. could get that, that you could buy from the store that would give you spinoff stories. So can we talk about how the wolf uh, has a bird coming out his crotch? Oh, you mean a pecker? I mean, I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> But I was thinking it. Uh, to be or not to be high as balls. 
Not even a question. I'm already there. Oh, man. To tree or not to tree. Wait, I can't ask questions. I'm a tree. And I don't, I don't know, know what's how going on it here. How does that Eldridge? <laughs> no, I can't, can't do that this entire time. <laughs> oh, man, but it'd be a lot cooler if we try. <laughs> really digging the Shakespeare <laughs> fanfic. Now all you need to do is kiss. Wait, is she like a... Kiss who? Just point the whale. Kiss whoever. What? Who is she? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, what, who's this guy? How about this? <laughs> now, wait, is that his portrait or does he have a chain connected to... Uh, <laughs> Just a severed head of himself? <laughs> uh, a picture of himself I went to the off. past and killed myself <laughs> as an accessory. Oh, I'm a Kingdom Hearts character. Woo. I'm so angsty. <laughs> uh, I tried it. It was okay. That's actually how I died. Oh, I wasn't paying enough attention. No, I was being metaphorical. <laughs> I meant that you should join me and feel the gentle caress of the dark side. I can't even do it. I can't <laughs> even keep it up. <laughs> whoa, this plate. Uh, uh, wow. Whoa, whoa, this plate just got spicy. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing a cult member, so I'm 100% on board with this. You guys know that voice had to come in somewhere. I'm sorry. <laughs> the trees provide shade. Perhaps I'm already on the dark side. Look how confused he is about. <laughs> 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 sorry. <laughs> and I'm a plague doctor, so like doctors are good, but plague is so bad. So bad. So bad. <laughs> I don't know what to choose. It's a BLA. It's a 50% chance Polly will choose to go with the dark side. That chance, like Polly, is unacceptably high. Put a stop to this madness. Everything is about good or evil, guys. The real quest has always been to find a shirt for poor topless Dimitri. <laughs> okay. Um, I I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, oh man. So uh, uh, what does what do you think Cthulhu girl, whose name I already forgot, yeah, me would too. want? She is a cult member, so she was kind of down for the idea. Okay. Of darkness. I'm going to go with not Dimitri and see what happens. Not so fun. Okay, what? good. That's good. I don't want you, Polly. Yeah, what, what, yeah, what do you want? You <laughs> no, don't know what you want. <laughs> you were just trying to sing a Spice Girls song, but now you're having an existential crisis. Same. <laughs> what do I want? What do I really, really want? <laughs> I'll tell you what I want, but I really, really What do I want? You don't know what you want? Not even simple things like pizza and belly scratches? Mm, same. Dang, Brian. Yeah, that's good. That was a pretty shocking lack of self-knowledge. <laughs> oh, man. For real. You couldn't just say butts? I mean, I that's mean, fair. Yeah. Everybody wants butts. What's wrong with you? It's true. Spice Girls, they're into butts. You don't know what's wrong with you. You're lost. Directionless. Perhaps you should join the, the dark. dark side. What are you here? Sorry, but the dark side is it some yoga retreat for people trying to find themselves. Ugh. This is like when people used to join my call because they, quote, Lacked a sense of purpose. It's like, get a life, you know? Okay. All right. <laughs> That's a life Zoe. But I'll let it slide because I'm more disappointed with Brian. Wow. Damn, this geez. is just like high school. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. I said one wrong thing, and it happened to be a Spice Girls lyric. Right. And also, my pants are gone, and this isn't a dream. <laughs> Does anyone want to give me pizza and belly scratches? Anyone? You clearly all have a lot of work out here. I'll come back later. I don't know who this guy is. Uh. Dimitri disappeared in a cloud of purple smoke, leaving you to get judged by your friends. You forgot the first rule of acting. Always know your motivation. You lose minus two smarts and minus one boldness. Boo! All right, there you go. Yeah! Uh, where do we want to go? Uh, I want to go to the library in the hopes that oh, you're gonna that day that. you spent some time on the library's PCs. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Playing some good old online poker. Who knew that Gamble Pornhub had poker? <laughs> Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision. But who cares? This time it paid off, so fuck it. Right, you got some money. You gained two money. <laughs> there you are, swiping through potential monster match dates when you spot Scott pacing and muttering to himself in distress. You can't bear to see someone so adorable in so much pain, so you might as well try. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think he's the one that I. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. oh, hi there, Amira. Do you think I'm adorable? Oh, I'm Scott. <laughs> you were literally just thinking that. No, we weren't. <laughs> anyway, the other day I was out in the forest trying to find a quiet place in the large branch to pull up for the big sports game. When suddenly I was approached by these talking forest animals. They were pretty big for forest animals. I've never seen animals that could talk like that. I mean, there's werewolves if you're counting us as animals. And they were just so fuzzy and adorable. But then they were impressed by my pull-ups and my muscles and that I was even more adorable. And so the nice little forest animals with the giant heads made me their king, which is really, really flattering. I just don't know anything about ruling. 
I'm not sure if I'm good enough to be king. Ah, uh, poor Scott. It's up to you to help him rally. Ah, uh, fuck Scott. <laughs> I mean, I would. Scott, a good king is a strong ruler, physically strong. If you can do 100 push-ups, you can be a good king for sure. True royalty has been inside you all along. Why else would your eyes be royal blue? Ooh. There's no winning this. I think that, I mean, you might get a chance at the lunch table to, like, pick who you want to, like, directly talk to. But I don't know. <sighs> I, it, Let's tell him that is Isaac. I mean, you can still so get charming. The thing is that I think that there's some like modifier where like it reduces the amount of points you need to go out with a certain person if you keep succeeding in their challenges. But if you just like bolster whatever, I think for you it's smarts is what you're going to need a lot of yeah. in order to actually ask the computer man out. So we'll see. My eyes are royal blue. Liam said they were cerulean. But I always knew that wasn't a real word. Clever Liam, he's always teasing me. My eyes are royal blue because I had royalty inside of me all this time. Does that mean I have like a little blue king or queen inside of me? Is it like my true self? Yes. I suspect such big muscles could be part of this world. So good old Scott is just a mecca for the little blue person to fight against evil. <laughs> Scott, uh, you ding dong. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm going to marry this man. <laughs> Go back to fourth grade, Scott. What about my real royal name could be? Sir Beef Wellington? Lady McBeef? No, Lady McMuscles? <laughs> Perfect. I should ask my loyal furries about that. Furries is what I decided to call those giant furry tucking forest animals for short. No, <laughs> no. Wait a minute. <laughs> Thanks for all you get my confidence back, Amira. Bye. You should come meet my furry friends. Not, that's <laughs> not going to happen. Ew. Well, you've always wanted to hang out with Scott. Not too sure about these circumstances, but it's better than not hanging out at all. You gain plus two smarts and plus one fun. All right. Nice. Uh, wait. Everybody right, choose a brand. brand. So your choice out loud of the rest of the players for continuing. Uh, brand. Uh, absolute vodka. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna go with um, Fisher Price. Uh, player orders decided based on how likely it is that the selected brand secretly rules the world. Ooh. Oh, uh, get I, always random it. Uh, I, I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah. Uh, it's booze. Booze rules. <laughs> School drools. Ah. Yeah. Alcohol wins it all. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's, Let's do it. All right. I'm aggressive. Nope. There you go. Uh, friend Paulina, please correct me if I have misunderstood, as I am still new to these customs. But it is my understanding <laughs> that the cafeteria is designed for the consumption of calories by these organic beings who need to live to yeah. live. Heck yeah. <laughs> And these tables are to put aforementioned calories on in order to be consumed. You got it, little <laughs> robot buddy. But you seem to be dancing on top of this table, therefore preventing your fellow students from using it for its des designated function. Nailed it! And you are encouraging other students to do the same as confetti rains down from the ceiling and multiple disco balls flash blindingly, and your music is very loud, which is why you are shouting over it. <laughs> Boom! See? You understand way more than you think. You're coming! Crushing it! Like I'm crushing that this rave! But from my understanding, the outdoors location isn't designated for raves. Cafeteria is for food consumption. Disrupting the ability to consume food in a space designated for food consumption is not very nice, and I believe you should stop. Um, well, I believe that that's lame and dumb, and I can't stop, and I won't stop partying, so I'm just going to keep partying. Lame. They seem to be at a standstill. Time to step in and turn the tide. Oh, boy. Polly should keep raving. Calculester, the raw intensity of this rave is powering the whole cafeteria by itself. Renewable energy, bitches. <laughs> Calculester. That's the Green New Deal right there, right? It's a, a, dr a drugged out <laughs> ghost dancing. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'd is vote there, Are those like baggies of cocaine shooting out of the bottom of her pants? Or is that like no, stylized, I like... Fringe. I thought it was stylized fringe, but now that we know so much about her, yeah. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Calculester is right. We know you're all about throwing parties in ridiculous places, so why not find some place even more ridiculous? Take this rave to Narnia. Go to Narnia! Narnia! Yes, friend Polina. Certainly, I do not want to curtail the fun of your rave, but perhaps if you could enjoy yourself just as much somewhere which does not disturb our classmates. That's it. That's enough. <laughs> Everyone stop. Damn, Polly's being a jerk Cut today. Cut the lights. Cut the music. <laughs> Take your damn heads off that piano, Justin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's Just got shut down. Shut it down. Polly and I apologize. I did not mean to ruin your fun. 
<laughs> because it's headed to Narnia. <laughs> Follow me through this wardrobe, fam. God, I love this game <laughs> so much. So well, Amira, this was quite a brilliant solution. You must be one of the few monsters who pays attention in class and gets and gains smarts. Launching sequence, sincere gratitude. <laughs> sincere gratitude, execute. Thank you. It seems you have bought us quite a bit of time while Felina parties in Narnia. Sup, bitches? I'm back from Narnia. Have you missed me these past years? You were gone 12 seconds and 8 nanoseconds, according to my clock. Did you dum-dums forget how Narnia works? I just became queen and ruled for 20 years and then burned that shit to the ground with the dopest party ever. Ah, it was so bomb. <laughs> God damn. That or I'm just super high on these super shrooms and just tripped really hard and had a 20 year long specific hallucination for the last 12 seconds. Who the fuck knows when it comes to super shrooms? It was Mr. Tumnus there. <laughs> hey, it was fun while it lasted and Calculuster still seems pleased, so go ahead and count it as a win. In. We will, stat-wise. Boom, shakalaka. All right. Let's get this uh, fanfic on the road, <laughs> even though... OMG! Okay, the space prince, uh, space prince isn't here, so... She's a sea... She's an aquatic. <laughs> uh, okay, it's not like Zoe and Miranda aren't always the perkiest of gals. They seem extra perky as they skitter around, writing things down in their notebooks. Uh. Doubtless you were admiring our great work, Brian. You see, we're now totally food critics. Zoe's hired me for her magazine. Totally a real food magazine. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, I still don't have a voice for her. Yeah. She, her eyes are just kind of off in the distance, so I kind of want to be like, it's maybe an honor <laughs> to have you on board, your highness. This is a Cthulhu, so maybe it's like, it's an honor to have you. <laughs> <laughs> huh. We read simultaneously because there are many of us and none of us in here. That's true. <laughs> Zoe holds up a bunch of paper stapled together with doodles and crayon that seem to be eldritch runes with some sparkly scratch and sniff stickers stuck on top. Nice. Her <laughs> sweatshirt is a sweatshirt I want. That, yeah. like, nervous face yellow sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah. If you're quiet and subservient, you may watch us in our quest to be the best food critics ever. I was a little hesitant about founding this very legitimate magazine since I knew I'm new the, to eating things other than minds and souls. Oh, man. Mm, Good thing that Brian, like Brian's souls. brains are already gone. And I usually <laughs> have my eating surfs eat for me, but then Zoe and I realized that we were the absolute best food critics according to our test audience. Which was comprised of Miranda's food surfs. Now watch us create culinary criticism magic. First up, macaroni and cheese. Damn. This food item contains both macaroni and cheese and therefore deserves five stars for this accurate description. Next, couscous with vegetables. I've never tried it, and the pieces seem way too small to even register in my many mouths. Many mouths. Many Damn. mouths. I won't try it either, but the name sounds very, very fancy, so five stars. Here is the microwave. What? Here is this microwave. What? I still Here don't understand. Here is this microwave. Here is this yeah, microwave. Oh, that oh, yes, this is very shiny and very cubic shape, which are both good qualities for food. Five stars. Here are some French fries. They don't seem to be particularly French. But they don't seem particularly un-French either. <laughs> oh, dear. How have we ever determined the Frenchosity? Psh, easy. It's my yeah, man. I tell French fries from not French fries all day. Mm, freedom fries are French fries. Yeah. So you should give the French fries a French kiss, worthy of the most epic of French fictions. Check how good they are at French kissing, and therefore calculate their Frenchosity. Uh, Miranda, obviously, you're the most qualified to determine this. The only way to establish Frenchosity is to actually go to France. Just send an eating surf over to check it out. So we can go with Zoe. Yes. <laughs> How did you know about my French-themed spooky high AU monstrables? Uh, eight, wait, that's a, a fan fiction. Monstrables. Uh, okay. I, that, she did that, a French-themed spooky high AU. Les Miserables. Yeah, I guess. Au Les Miserables. AU is like a thing in fanfic, I think. Oh, but Lame, you truly are my number one fan, aren't you, Brian? I mean, if I'm if my oh number my one god, fan... Oh my god, it makes so much sense that a fucking Cthulhu monster would be down with some fanfiction now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah? Why is that? Because they like worshippers and the like 
people that are all about like fan fiction and oh. shit. It just makes sense. Yeah. And if by if my number one fan she means trying to get in her tentacles on prom night, then sure. I got to 16th base with her. <laughs> what the fuck right. is 16th base? Look, she's got a lot of mouths, and I've gotten to three of them. Yep. Yep. Yeah, if you if you ever find them to be sufficiently good kisses, my eldritch compatriot, I will join you in this endeavor. Uh, are they both making out with? I have no idea. Are they both making out with French fries right now? It will be good practice for me when my prince comes along. Oh, but when I log. make out with French fries in high school, everyone says I'm a <laughs> fucking weirdo. Provided that I'm not in an enchanted <laughs> slumber at the time. <laughs> uh. I really feel like people shouldn't be kissing people in any kind of slumber. But that's a separate issue, so I'm just going to make out with a fried potato now. Sexy? She, she, does. Does. she does! Yes, I found that kiss to be both French and fried. All right. Five, st five stars. Alert. You rock. Oh, oh okay. okay. Five stars. And Brian, maybe you and I can work on other kissing adventures sometime. We need that, the studio audience. Uh, yeah, dude. Heck yeah, and you do, and it's called giving butterfly kisses to honey roasted butterflies to determine their butterfly factor. Oh, that is not what I thought, narrator. Five stars. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> All right. That's great places. Okay, everybody choose a video game. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh, Kirby. Dark Souls. Yeah, any uh, Kirby. I don't care. Player orders determined based on how entertaining it would be if Shakespeare brought to life only for this purpose played this game on Twitch. Oh, man. I, I'm i going to give you Kirby on that. Yeah. I think Shakespeare <laughs> would be way into Dark Souls, so <laughs> I think it would be way more interesting to be like, oh, what is this pink circle? Let's do this. Let's do it. All right. Uh, so you can try to get your smarts up. You could go shopping. You got a, you got money, which you can give yourself a boost in some stuff by going to the library and shopping with the cat lady, but it does take your whole turn. Yeah. So. Blah, 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 blah. No, I'm going to go class. Okay. That day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. This looks like it. Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that this that actually attending class is supposed to be the primary activity of this high school. Game plus two smarts. Yeah, I'm the smartest bitch in town. Smart it up. You're practicing your very best monster mash when you hear the sounds of an argument, which is so strange in these sacred, hollowed halls of education. Lol, JK, can you imagine? <laughs> ah. Amira! They made me their king, and they deserve the best and most wonderful king there ever was. I'm going to work as hard as I can to be that king no matter what it takes. Uh, uh, Scott, you realize <laughs> they're not cute little baby animals in need of a king, right? I think she was Russian last time, but uh, not, I, I want to put anybody you, through that. Uh, I'm sorry. That, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> they're furries. I know they're furry, Vera. I'm the one who told you that. No, Scott, they're furries. It's a king. Yes, Vera, there are many kinks in my plan. That's why I need them. I need to work them out to be the best ruler. Oh, no. Furry. I'm Scott. I get it. <laughs> Look, he's a, I don't think I've ever seen him. Wear, like, clothes? Yeah, I don't think, well, I don't think I've seen him wear anything but that red shirt, right? Oh, yeah. And I think she's got, I've never seen her wear anything but that little, like, poofy dress. So. Yeah, you're right. Excuse me, did you say you need help being a good ruler? I know all about that. Being a king is easy, as Daddy always says. Only peasants, only live peasants can stage rebellion. Oh, Miranda, I'm not really sure. Fear is your most important weapon. You must, your second most important weapon is actual weapons. I mean, that's fair. Torture, soup spoons, razor teacups, and knife on fire. You know, the usual. I don't know, Miranda, I appreciate the advice, but I don't think that's the kind of king I want to be. Nonsense. Your I'll get you the butter knife. horrifying eyes. Shuriken right now. Oh, God. Oh, butter knife shuriken. <laughs> it just seems so unnecessary. There must be a better, kinder way to rule, right, Amira? I want them to have a happy time under Scott the First. They've been so nice to me. They've written me beautiful songs, which are about my adventures, but most of them are the sorts of things I definitely have not done. And they're made amazing drawings of me, which are very, very generous in their proportions. I just think they deserve the best leader. <laughs> very, very generous in their proportions. Some of them are vor. It's Normal. weird. <laughs> Uh, Some of them have me with the guy I've never even met. <laughs> yep. Normal rulers make their subjects pay taxes, but if you paid taxes what to if, them... <laughs> what is this, Soviet Russia? <laughs> <laughs> flag time! You can't rule a kingdom with no flag. Without a flag, it would be just a bunch of flagless people. Oh, shit. I don't know. I, don't I, don't, know. I guess the question here is like, 
Which do you think will give you more smarts? I don't think either of the any. I don't think any interaction with Scott is gonna get me more smarts. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Most of them also have like a sub, like a sub stat, I believe, as well that kind of factors at like a one half or something like that. I know, but I, don't but know I think what it's charm is. for him. Oh, uh, okay. So it'd be charm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, then know, do go flag. with your gut. Not so creative. Well, I have shit creativity. You're 120% right. Flags are the best. Let's combine our art powers and create the very best flag ever. You get to a tense art frenzy, which is kind of hot and intimate. Somehow the two of you end up shirtless and sweaty oh, while panting awkward. and doodling. After three hours of passionate art activity, you put your clothes on again because of decency, but mainly because we don't have a shirtless model for Scott. Nice. And admire your work. Whoa, this is a genius. Not really. It's quite simple, and it reminds you of something. You're not sure what. I'll show this to my beloved furries. Bye. Scott leaves, all excited, ready to execute your plan. Later, you stumble upon Scott again. He seems not so happy. There you are, Amira. Your plan went terribly. Our flag turned out to be the flag of Switzerland. <laughs> oh, that's why the flag rang a bell for you. We pissed off Switzerland so much that they even threatened to abandon their neutral nature to start a war with our kingdom. And you know we fucked up big time because they didn't even do that during World War II. How do you know that, Scott? Yeah, we can't go to war against Switzerland. Our country is like 20 or 30 people at most. I have a gut feeling we might lose a war against them. Scott leaves sad and stressed with the burden of reaching peace with Switzerland. Oh, oh no, God! My, my smarts! Ah! Ah. This game bones you sometimes. Yeah. It really does. All right, I need some creativity. I ain't got shit for money. Bop, bop, ba doop, dop, doop, dip, dop, dop. How about the bathrooms? <laughs> that day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. Nah. You give plus zero shits, but gain plus two boldness. Nice. All right. You're chilling with Zoe. Watch her draw cute little chibi characters getting eaten by nightmare fluid when Leonard slides into your midst. Damn it, Leonard. Quit sliding yeah, in. Leonard. Slide somewhere else. Oh, fuck? my God. His what? His shirt literally says send nudes. Oh, he's like a thing. He's like a specific. He's like an internet thing that I don't know what it is. Okay. So. Hey, your art. Uh, hey, your, uh, 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 hey, your art's not bad for a girl. Uh, I might have a major opportunity for you. I don't know wow. why. Oh, cool. As much as I hate your casual sexism, I love opportunities. What's up? I'm looking for someone to do a custom drawing for my YouTube channel. Oh, It'll be me, but with my with sunglasses and my muscles are huge, and you can tell from my facial hair that I'm right about everything. Um, yeah, I could probably do that. No guarantee that it won't drive your viewers insane, though. Oh, man, we need some cover art for Rage Slack that would drive our viewers insane. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> they go insane that they weren't true fans to begin with. Wow. Great. Let's talk a little more about what you want, and then we can negotiate a price oh, God. for the commission. Oh, God. He's not going to do it, is he? Ex oh, God, uh, he is. Excuse me. Price exposure to my 284 YouTube subscribers isn't enough for you. Bitch, ugly, <laughs> fat, <laughs> you're going to die alone. I can't believe you thought I wanted to date you. And after I was such a nice guy. <laughs> no. Wow, typical. And here I am trying to Ugh. give you the opportunity of a lifetime. You can't think of anything but money. Did you hear me when I said how many subscribers I have? 284. And that's just right now. By Makes the, end of the weekend, freaking frogs gay. It's <laughs> be 285, 286, and from there, it's just a few orders of magnitude until I hit 600. A real savvy artist would understand the value of getting in good with me while I'm still on the rise. This could be huge for you. Anyway, TLDR, no cash right now. I'm investing all my capital in my craft in the hopes of maybe someday becoming a YouTube sensation. You're an artist. Do it for the love of the art or whatever dumb fucking reason artists have for doing yeah. art shit. <laughs> God, is there a punch this asshole in the face button? As Leonard pours more and more garbage words out of his stupid mouth, you can feel the air around Zoe turning into pink tentacles of wrath. Uh-oh. Kill him, Zoe. If you, <laughs> if you can't broker a deal between these two, who knows what will happen to reality? Maybe you can convince Leonard to pay with something other than money. Like his dick or his oh, life? Wow, that's the first thing you went for, huh? Fuck. Uh, well, no, I mean like chopping it off, not yeah, like I will give not you like throwing her a bone. <laughs> Why don't you pay with one of your kidneys? I mean, you've already got two, and once you're a YouTube sensation, you can buy as many kidneys as you want. If all you've got right now is a hope for the future, why not pay with your future? Pledge to be Zoe's indentured servant from ages 32 to 36. Ooh. Uh, I 
think she likes the uh, servant stuff, right? Uh, maybe. I mean, she's a cult person, right? Yeah. Let's try that one out. <coughs> oh. <laughs> so creative. Ah, deal, suckers. What, you think I'm just a regular high school age? I'm a motherfucking Japanese swamp vampire, you utter cucks. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I turned 36 600 years ago. Oh, that's okay. I'll just extract payment from your past, so. Yes, do it, Zoe. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, fuck my memory. Oh, fuck my memories. Don't worry. I just bent the fabric of time and space to still four years of your life. We're totally even now. I'm going to go on Zoe in real life. <laughs> I suddenly bear deep emotional scars from events I never experienced. Bro, same. My my entire life is non-canon. <laughs> so do you still want that drawing for another two years of your past? I'll even do it in color. Um, uh, uh, no thanks. I need to go lie down for a while. Oh, okay. Enjoy the incessant nightmares. The what? <laughs> oh, that Zoe. So adorable. You gain plus two smarts, plus one creativity. Woo! I'm going to prom alone, aren't I? I'm dating Zoe. <laughs> Man, I have fucked up every single time we played this game. Uh, oh, oh, something Somebody's happened to Amira. Yeah, that's me. You're out of the club having a great time when suddenly you become acutely aware of the inevitability of your own death. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you think you're having an existential crisis, but it's actually just Zoe. She coalesces from a murky soup of all your darkest thoughts. It's cute. Ah, dorbs. Yep. What's up, Amira? Enjoying your weekend? That's cool. That's cool. Listen, I gotta ask something about Brian. You know, the one with a very nice butt and also probably a personality? Yeah, my butt's great! <laughs> my personality <laughs> so-so! <laughs> We've been hanging out for a couple of weeks, and I have to admit, there's a spark there, but... Well, if I'm gonna ship myself with someone, I'm not gonna half-ass it, you know? Like, I'm gonna expect them to get into all the weird shit I'm a fan of. <laughs> Magic... <laughs> Magical girl anime, yeah. tentacle porn, Woo. the look on a man's face as his last shreds of sanity escape through his ears like wisps of screaming smoke. Happened years ago, baby. I run a YouTube channel. <laughs> but, but I'm not, you know, selfish. I want to get into whatever Brian is into, too. Yep. I just want to know what I'm getting into as far as fandoms are concerned. I don't want to have to invest in, like, Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> slash Space Jam mashups or something. Yeah, I hate Sonic, too. <laughs> so what's Brian a fan of? Do you know? Oh, man. He's a huge collection of super cool bus driver trading cards. He has a huge collection of super lame bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> Do the super lame. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I, don't, I honestly don't know. I have no idea which one would be. Do you ever be. just feel like she's looking into your soul? Yeah. I try not to maintain direct eye contact. Actually, I don't think she has eyes there. Yeah. I think the other the eyes are her eyes. Yeah. I just wish that if you stopped for long enough, you would get like a slow zoom into her face. <laughs> it just keeps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just I, you know what I just realized is there's a, there's a, uh, a, shop back there called ghoulish garbs i'm trying to read what and the coffee shop is it's catatonic coffee Cata catacomb catacomb coffee yeah yep well and this shop is a comic shop this yeah one. i don't I'm know go I, I have no idea let's go with super cool bus driver i'll try to be nice okay uh super cool yeah. oh. oh. brian is a bus safarian too damn right i am baby <laughs> we'll have to cook some hair <laughs> collections I've got all of history's greatest bus drivers. Bus Just driver Ephraim, bus driver Jewel, the acid rap sensation known as bus driver. I tried to get a card signed by our school's very own bus driver, Otto Wolfman, <laughs> but his hands are permanently glued to the wheel by a mummy's curse. What if Brian has a signed copy from back before Otto raided that tomb? I can't wait to ask. Thanks for the inside scoop, Amira. As a show of gratitude, please take this. It's my spiciest bus driver trading card. So it hands you what appears to be a photograph of a bus wearing a thong. Juicy! You got plus three charm. Oh, that's good. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, when I was in high school, Speaking I... Speaking of thongs. <laughs> I never... I should have gone out with someone like Zoe, but I was chasing the polys the entire time. Yeah, that's... Like those punk rock sense, yeah. fucking drug chicks. Oh, man. Hey, fans, uh, high school fans of Rage Select, go after your fucking Zoe's. What's yep. wrong with you? Yeah. Everybody choose something cool. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Bus driver the trading cards. Uh, pornography. <laughs> Player decided by how crazy it would be if 100 years from now the selected thing became the 
New World's, world's currency. currency. Oh my god, you win that round, <laughs> yeah, sir. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Man, my Jenna Jameson portfolio is just like, yeah. it's just <laughs> really come together. Um, all right. Man, I still don't have any cash. Or else I would go buy some shit. Like, it took me a while to figure out. Uh, oh, she's out there. I'm going to go with the. We've been to the library, we've been to class, I've been to gym. Jim? Jim, Jim. Jim, Jim. Jim, Creativity. I want some more creativity. I don't know if I'm going to get that in gym. I'm going to go back to the auditorium. Okay. Be a band or a, a theater kid. That day while rehearsing for uh, for the class play, you totally forget your lines. It's terrible. You don't let the, yeah, you start improvising all your lines, and it's marvelous. Somehow it enhances the path of the play in unexpected ways, and that's saying something since half your improvisation is a rap battle against your inner fears. Nice. <laughs> you gain plus two creativity. God Woo! damn, you're the most creative person. Yeah. Hey, Brian, I didn't expect to see you here. Don't you love how at Spooky High we have so many friends and you never – Know who's going to show up to... What is she dressed as? She's a cult member. Oh, okay. Oh, no! Oh, shit. The witches! Here's <laughs> the plan for today, girls. <laughs> uh, it's the coven. Joy, hope, and faith. You know our nymphs? Yeah. Of course. It's so cool to see you guys. Say the thing. Say the thing. <laughs> what thing? The thing. The thing. You know the thing. Say it. Say it. Say the thing! <laughs> We oh, look, yeah. Yeah, she looks, <laughs> she looks something's crazy. happening. Crazy. Sigh. We're here to save the world. Ah, so great. <laughs> Remember when I was trapped in a totem? Remember that? And you guys were like, don't you understand what you brought from that shop? Your totem is the gourd, ruler of the dark realms, an agent of destruction. We must dispose of the totem before the world suffers. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, are you kidding? That was awesome. And then someone stepped in a succeeded or failed or something. I don't really remember. I've lived through so many events and things in my life. It's hard to keep them straight. But the point is, it's all fine now. Now we're on the same team and I'm totally ready to join the coven. Oh, somehow I don't think they're going to like that. Well, 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 <laughs> don't get us wrong. It's nice for someone to appreciate how hard we work to keep the world safe instead of trying to belittle and or sabotage us. But you can't just... Ugh. Well, 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 look who it is. Uh, we meet again. <laughs> My accent changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri! I don't know if she's happy or sad. <laughs> oh, no, oh, oh my God! My ears, <laughs> my ears are bleeding. Who are you, Bill? What are you, Bill? Why are you, Bill? <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm, <laughs> I'm a totem. I mean, I was a totem. I was a high school girl. Now I am a high school girl. Sorry, I'm just. Oh gosh! She's like a fanboy of this guy. So listen, I know most people are all about Dimitri life, where they assume that the reason you often turn to the good side before bad again is because of your deep forbidden love for joy. What? Never. Joy means nothing to me. Blah. I feel nothing for her. I feel nothing ever at all. A beautiful, manly tear trickles down Dimitri's face. He stares off into the distance. Right. Yeah, totally. But I've always been rooting for home tree as in you getting together with hope. Not like home tree from my fan fiction where you're forced to work in a brothel. I fucking love her. <laughs> He's I'm, like, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> I'm here for a reason and one reason only, to take from the coven the cursed bloodstone. I take no pleasure in seeing their smiling faces, and I will take no sorrow in seeing their corpses. Bleh. Oh, fine. Okay, coven. How are we going to defeat him? You're not <laughs> in the coven, Zoe! <laughs> this is like high school all over again. Yeah. But at some point, everything around Dimitri has caught fire somehow, and the deadly glow lights up his dark but very sexy smile. Time to find a way to get out of this whilst getting Zoe into the coven. Oh, boy. Oh, this is me. I pff, yeah. totally forgot. Uh, let's join the coven by being like the coven. We must defeat Dimitri in the classic way, yelling cliched but heroic one-liners. We should all lick Dimitri's abs because reasons! <laughs> uh, That's on you, home skill it out. I don't, uh, I don't know at let's all. all lick his abs, man. Fucking, fucking, I don't care. Fuck it. <laughs> we would never and have never and would never. No. Not a single one of us has ever done so or thought about it. Uh huh. And we would never do it again. Uh huh. Right? <laughs> Save you. the world. Sorry. The Covenized Dimitri's sexy, sexy abs. Only to save the world. <laughs> 
All five of you rush at Dimitri and begin licking what? his uh, sexy, Dimitri. sexy abs. Out of porn on accident. Whoa. I love being a part of the coven. <laughs> Just <laughs> you're not part of the coven. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saving the. Ah! <laughs> 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 Zoe starts choking, clutching her throat. The coven follows suit. Dimitri cackles, a sexy, sexy cackle. My abs are not only dusted with a tasteful shimmer, they're dusted with arsenic as well. Blue. Did you kill your girlfriend? No! <laughs> Dimitri! <laughs> I'll go to jail! I knew you would not be able to resist my special one. Our history together is too strong. We always find each other again. Wait. <laughs> Dimitri! <laughs> which, which coven member are you talking to? What? You've just been poisoned. Shouldn't you be begging me for an antidote? Why beg for an antidote when you could beg for spoilers? <laughs> this is absurd. It's just, it's just, I hurt looking at all three, so who is the special one? My God. <laughs> Tell her nothing. Well, you got the hardest part know, of this man. entire game. Enough of this! I'm digging this bloodstone and returning once more to my dark master, but I leave behind this antidote. You may stay up many a night wondering why. Why I kept you alive, perhaps for some even worse fate, or perhaps... No, no, it can never be! You, Zoe, and the Coven take the antidote and survive the arsenic. And the Coven is furious that Demetri made off with the bloodstone, and Zoe is furious that you made her look bad Raw. in front of the Coven. And even more furious that she knows Dimitri has a history with at least one cover member, but she doesn't know which one. That's not an ear-spinning shriek, but not literally because it, it doesn't literally split your ears. It literally splits minus two fun and minus one boldness from your body. Wow. Bro. Okay, I'm I'm okay with this still. This. I, yeah. It would have been better to have. I think I still might have enough as long as I've been boosting the right stat. <laughs> now I'm afraid to do anything. Uh, oh, yeah, for losing points? Yeah. Eh, I mean, you know. Where should I go? What do you need? Smarts and charm, I think. Library, I would be willing to bet. Oh, you playing some Doom? That day you spent some time on the library PC managing your star kicker. Oh. Start kicker? Your start kicker, your Kickstarter. <laughs> you deceive lots of people with a sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. You got 420 backers, bro. But almost everything goes to cover costs and key. <laughs> Yay, two money. <laughs> okay. You really need to sp uh, spend uh, that shit. God, what the fuck? Scott all but skipping down the corridor, cheerily rattling off some sort of list. Oh. Hi, pal. Oh, man, today's the best. I was walking out of class and my tail just started wagging all of a sudden. You know, sometimes your tail starts wagging and you're not even sure why. I started wondering what my tail might be so happy about and I realized it's probably just because I'm a werewolf. <laughs> because being a werewolf is just about the best thing, right? I mean, if it wasn't a werewolf, I wouldn't even have a tail to wag. But then I started thinking even more and I realized where everything's would be pretty cool. Where dolphins, where pigs, where weasels, oh. where tanks. <laughs> oh, oh, the moon is full. <laughs> I'm becoming a tank. <laughs> I wonder what the absolute best <laughs> were creature could be. Where vending machine, where water fountain, where door, where window, where knob, where floor. Okay, now he's just naming things he can see. You where better lamp. jump in. <laughs> where moon. A where werewolf. <laughs> there, 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 wolf. <laughs> uh, oh, man. I, just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what I get from any of these. A where God. werewolf. Good. Yeah. But when it comes to being a werewolf, being a werewolf is the best thing. I know they say too much of a good thing is a great thing. They don't. But this might be the acceptance that proves the rule. <sighs> they don't say that either. I mean, what would being a were werewolf mean cutting my werewolf time in half? Like, would the full moon turn me into a werewolf and then I'd have to wait for another full moon to turn me into a wolf? Not cool. I don't want that. Not I don't want to lose cool. any wolf time. He, he asked what besides a wolf he could be, and oh you God. said a werewolf. It's only fair that you lose minus two creativity and minus one spark. God damn it. Yeah, and there is no God winning. damn it, Monster Prom. Uh, choose an occupation. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Gynecologist. Uh, sandwich artist. All right, Luigi, we're plumbers. Player order is decided based on how funny an off-brand version of these two heroes <laughs> Hans and Rudolph would be, aside from saving a kingdom, are also... <laughs> Gynecologists. Yep. Yep. I mean, I'll take it. Yep. You do good. You do good. How is our time looking like, by the way? We're we just like, like 50 minutes. Give 50? 5-0? 
Oh my God. I'm 35 seconds. Oh, Jesus Christ, we gotta get to prom. <laughs> All right, move it, move it. I like to move it. We might have to stop reading out loud. Uh, You're your chosen table to find Miranda, blah, blah, blah. Miranda isn't lo uh, locking your unpaid oh, intern in a spike filled sarcophagus. Unethical. Oh, God, he's wearing a shirt. Unethical. Yep, unethical, inconsistent with rules and standards of ethics. You know, those things poor people have instead of royal titles. Oh, yeah. I thought ethics were creative, critical to being a good organic creature. Uh, misconceptions, have a lot of money, pushing around anybody who dares to disrespect you. Example, that saucy surf mm -hmm. dared to put ketchup on the hot dog she was eating. As if I were the sort of person to put ketchup on a hot dog. Uh, 48 hours in the Iron Maiden. For the state. Ronnie <laughs> Error. <laughs> Are inconsistent with internal moral compass, existential crisis imminent. Uh-oh. Quick, set Miranda straight or set Calculester crooked. Uh-oh. What's this? Calculester disagreeing with Miranda looks like it's disrespectful prison time for someone else, too. Man, let's punish your surf in a different way. Say by giving her a frowny face sticker with really aggressive glitter. Okay. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought I saw her face. So I just. Surely you're even more delightfully cruel than I. An Iron Maiden only torments for 48 hours, but glitter. Glitter is eternal. Yeah, I mean. She'll be reminded of her transgression until her dying day. I see. Ren Miranda's ethics module is poorly calibrated. Excuse me. Is that disrespect I hear? feel more disrespect towards you, Amanda, because as a rule, I do not feel... I'm going to make him fall in love with me. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Would you like a job as one of my royal torturers? No, thank you. I will have her supply you with stickers if it ensures the serve safety. The extra stickers left over from Calculester's first printing. You two start a thriving, punitive sticker business. It's a bonding experience. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Uh, Zoe, 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 Zoe. Zoe, 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 Scott. Scott and Zoe are having marshmallows for lunch. You say that because the cafeteria table is covered in a little mountain of marshmallows. Zoe slams a marshmallow into her mouth. It's mildly impressive. <laughs> That's 15 marshmallows. Scott stuffs six marshmallows in his mouth at once. It's slightly more impressive. Oh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm king of marshmallow. Uh, I didn't want to do this, but you leave me no choice, rival. So it begins to glow purple and convulse her tentacles swell. You smell death itself. Ancient chaos to, to world sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, she looks amazing. <laughs> cloud of marshmallows rises into the air. Zoe's countless mouths all open with an infinite hunger. All of the mallows fly into Zoe's gaping maws. <laughs> Cafeteria windows open as all the marshmallows in a 50-mile radius are summoned to their doom. It is unspeakably impressive. Murderer! <laughs> hey, no fair. If I count correctly, I've eaten 13,666 marshmallows exactly, which means I win. Wait, that is like very not cool. You can't just use more than one mouth during an eating contest. It's cheating. And I would know because I used my hands at soccer one time and I still feel bad about it. No way, I didn't cheat. The validity of this impromptu marshmallow match is my whole reason to live and why my whole reason to not destroy this amazing marshmallow filled planet. Quick, referee this athletic dispute before the whole planet is destroyed. Uh, let's see. We can't control how many mouths we have. That's not nice. Scott, uh, are you a good boy or not? Scott, play smart and be creative. Don't you have many other holes you could use to win? <laughs> um, <laughs> Scott, I do not want to see you shove marshmallows up your butthole, <laughs> sir. Um, that's not nice. Scott, okay, there we go. Scott's eyes wide in primal fear. Wait, I'm sorry, Zoe. I want to be a good boy. I don't want to, I don't want to be not a good boy. Wait, Scott. Who's a good boy again? It's me, Scott. Who's a good boy? <laughs> me. <laughs> then I guess I'm the winner of Mounts and all. Zoe may have won the marshmallow battle, but you'll win the marshmallow prom date demon friendship war. All right. Uh, everyone choose the food. Say your food out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Banana. Hot dog. Nowadays, they make flavored water because we guess people don't know how to spend their money anymore. Player order is determined based on how expensive you think a water flavored, Hot dog flavored water? chosen food That's would a Limp Bizkit song. <laughs> that is a Limp Bizkit song. <laughs> I'm claiming. I don't you know. Claim you claim it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Boosh. All right. Now we all know that Jeff's a Limp Bizkit fan. That's right. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> uh, all right. I need some more creativity. We're going to go with the outdoors. Day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. Consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. Game plus two fun. That, I, bullshit. I didn't need that. <laughs> so he bounds up. He was even more of a pep in her pretentacled step than usual. Hey, Brian, aren't you so excited about the con coming up? Con con. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Which con con? Con con. The condiments convention. Con con. The con artist convention. Nope. It's con con. The con convention convention for ultimate fans. And I thought, well... 
maybe we could ultimate fan together. Oh, yeah. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, and sorry if this is too soon to ask. I mean, it's hard to determine the relative appropriate, uh, for appropriateness of brief intervals of time when you're seeing you. Oh, man. You've been around in various <laughs> forms for millennia. But would you want to do a couple cosplay with me? I mean, if you can think of a good enough pairing. Oh, man. Oh, hell yeah, you would. And you know the most perfect cosplay or couple cosplay pairing ever. You suggest the neoliberal system and the unbearable feeling of void that no material good can fulfill. <laughs> Sorry, Naruto and Garfield. <laughs> Naruto and Garfield. <laughs> Fuck yes. No. no! <laughs> uh, Naruto and Garfield. I mean, sure, yeah, I was into that at one point, but like not anymore. But Fuck a long you, time. Zoe. We're going as Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sasuke! <laughs> about Suzuki and Garfield? Suzuki. Uh, just think about it. Even just a pure aesthetic level, which sounds better? Narufield or Sasusfield? <laughs> Sasufield. Sasufield by a mile. And in the end, isn't that what makes a great ship? The combined name? It's pretty, pretty. Come to think of it. Pretty solid. There's not really a great... Uh, Portmanteau Port uh, of Brian and Zoe to be our ship name, is there? B uh, Bowie? Bro? Broey? <laughs> Broey? Yeah? Zion? Z Z oh, what? Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> she's right. I'm not saying our ship is definitely sunk, but I think I need to dock this ship in the harbor before I take it out again. Damn it! I'll give you a harbor to dock your ship in. <laughs> you Wait. knew your name should be something cool like Diak, or then you and Zoe together should be called Zodiac. Is Diak a name? Whatever. You should have thought about that before having a stupid name like Brian. We lose minus two creativity and minus one smarts. Damn it. Oh, wow. Creativity is still pretty high, though. This they, Man, they're really fucking shitting on our... <laughs> I'm going back to class. Okay. I want smarts. Okay, go to class. I can't. It's... There, there you go. Stay your teacher delivers an amazing creative performance that blows your minds and ends up being a total sensation on YouTube. Teacher games plus 10 coolness, but who cares? He's not trying to romance your classmates. Or is he? We hope not. <laughs> so you gain plus two smarts. All right. Yay! I just need to just need this. Afterwards, calculus man just catch you alone. Yeah. You can tell he's nervous because he prints out a piece of paper that says, I am nervous from his crotch. <laughs> 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 oh, bro, say it. Hello, friend Amira. I have recently completed an inventory of my feelings repository and found numerous romantic feelings for you. Yeah. I'm having trouble interpreting these feelings. Are they good? Are they bad? Is your love a virus? I do not know. However, I have determined that the best way to find out for sure is to confront you directly. Would you like to go on a date with me? Why in? Immediately shout why. So loud that passing students think you're having next to such a crowd. Why? <laughs> Emotion found. Pleased. However, due to lack of amorous experience on my part, I must rely on you to choose our date. Perhaps something that will helps illuminate our monster condition. I love to be around organics and do ordinary organic things. Here, just a thing. Okay. Let's read Heidegger's Heidegger's Complete Works on the Nature of the Monster Condition by Romantic Candlelight. Let's go to the hospital and watch people give birth. It's the new <laughs> Netflix and chill. <laughs> oh, fuck. You imagine going to a hospital and like getting wasted making out like in the delivery oh, room? Oh my god. It's like, ma'am, can you leave? <laughs> I, get, I don't know. Heidegger is a uh, well. You know who? Do you know who that is? No, he's a know. philosopher. Uh, right, but so like, would he want that because it's a smarty pants thing? I don't know. I thought Naruto and Garfield was a good idea. So smart. There you go. You bust out the candles and you dog your copy of Monster Heidegger's Being in Time. Cat loves every nanosecond of it, especially the part about how each monster is born as many monsters and dies as a single one, or turns into a ghost or a mummy or something. You're on a roll, so you move to the other monster philosophers, Ludwig Frankenstein, Mary Shelley, Frederick Banshee. You get to the part in Julian Huxley's Transhumanism about how a Dracula with a robot arm is no longer a Dracula, but a robot Dracula. Calculus turns to you with love in his face. Yeah. Or literally, he's got love in his face. Ah. I have deeper understanding than ever before of the monster condition, perhaps. Perhaps you would like to replace some of your parts with robot parts. <laughs> you would like to do with some robot parts right about now. Oh, plus yeah. two smarts. Yeah, look at that. Yay. All right. Watch your prom. Draws near. Oh, boy. That's you. Who I do you want to take? Fucking, I biffed it on the thing, but like, <laughs> yes. Mean. All him. right. We should do, 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 we should have done one where we both go after the same person and see who wins. <laughs> All right, let's see if either one of us managed to get it. Oh, I'm so oh, nervous. You find a book of courage to ask your beloved to go to Monster Prom with you. 
Oh no, <laughs> it's not possible for us to go together. Damn in this you, Monster Prom! You see, this is the alternate universe where I get to have fun at prom, which I highly suspect won't be possible of going with you. God damn oh, it! Ow, ow, my heart. It's something personal, just that you are very boring and unpleasant. But hey, <laughs> you should totally call me if you happen to be in the horrible, forgettable prom AU sometime. Alternate universe. Yeah, that's what that got is. it, yeah. Oh, oh, God well, well, damn well, it! You're so ashamed by your right. failure that after prom, you Photoshop Garfield into all your prom pictures. <laughs> of, <is> your prom <laughs> <laughs> Every time I lose at this fucking video game, <laughs> it's just like prom! Garfield, the orange cartoon cat, not your brightest idea. Anyway, even with your Photoshop skills, you still couldn't Photoshop the sadness of oh, your face man. away. Oh, man. Ouch. Sad. Sad. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you finally pick up the courage. Yes, you blow up the it's such a lot. The thing is, I no! no! Well, that's fair. Uh, Can robots get HPV? Slave to as perilous. You had something on my insides. Gets warm when you're around. So how can it be wrong when it feels so right? That's well, a he's dick. got a dick. He's got, he's got, a, got a, dick. a dick on his yeah! face. I think I think I will uninstall my antivirus during prom night. You know, to take my firewall down just yeah! for you. Oh, Motherfucker, boy. did you win again with yes! all that shit? Eggplant emoji. Yeah, I'm gonna get that eggplant emoji. You and Kelly Cluster danced the robot dance and even the robo boogie. Robo boogie. You were smooth robo and classy. Calculester wanted to explore life, and hell yeah, you explored life. Later, when the night was ending and the sun started to rise, you two went to your place. There, you followed the wise advice you learned from Evangelion. As Gendo Akari once said, Shinji, get in the fucking <laughs> robot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We are most likely to survive for your <laughs> drinking all your own Wow, pain. really? I'm looking forward yeah, to this sequel. sequel. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, folks, we are so far out of time. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching Monster Prom, the second year, uh, second semester, what was it called? I don't remember. Uh, and as always, it's going to end with this fucking rad, rad doodle doo song. Um, like, subscribe, uh, patreon.com forward slash rage select. Oh, wait, this is the epilogue. Yeah. Uh, so he's many years researching obscure trivia for a fan fanfic paid off. She got a job as a consultant as a company who makes fantasy sex toys based on beloved pop culture characters. She now rakes in the big bucks designing blueprints of stuff like the cock of the Demogorgon or the vagina of the Statue of Liberty. Wow. Okay. Liam honed the most admirable skill. Now designs Instagram filters. Oh, wait. We don't care about any of those. Uh, then it was gone. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended there, but there are plenty of battles left in the war called Youth. We're young and unafraid. We're just ready to start. All right. All right. Yep. Patreon forward slash rage select. Amazon links down sub below. Get them while you can. Yeah. Buy stuff on Amazon. Give us some money. Pay $5 on Patreon. Get into the Discord server and hang out with us there. Uh, you know what? In addition to all the rest of those things, I'm going to tell you <laughs> that if you have not played Monster Prom, play what the Monster Prom. What fuck are you waiting for? It's so good. It's so good. so good. Amanda, you also. Oh, look, it's. It's, uh, it's a gremlin. gremlin. Mumra. Yay. Um, what? Geek Bombast. Geek Bombast. You can find us at Geek Bombast uh, anywhere your podcasts can be found Spotify, Stitcher, Libsyn, iTunes, all of the things. Go to YouTube, bit.ly slash Geek Bombast. We talk about. Movies, TV shows, video games, uh, comic books, all, all, all the things. We talk about all the things. Okay. Uh, they put in a different ending theme song, but it's also still rad. Uh, <laughs> prank juice? What's with all the mustaches? Oh, man. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I like this game so much. I love this like, game. I, I hate... I like the part where I always win. I, I, I hate that part. But I, I hate, like, Japanese, like... Visual novels and dating sims, but man, I can play Monster Prom for fucking ever. It's so good. Also, this DLC is like five dollars. Yeah. So like, go get yourself some new uh, calculators and uh, Zoe's and what are, what are those, oh, the karaoke man. bar. I would have so much fun at this school. Yep. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> so cute. Uh, stage props. Oh, it's uh, it's Polly. Anyway, yep, uh, always follow your dreams and ask somebody to prom and have yourself a wonderful weekend.